layers. We are born into this world with very little to worry about. Up until birth, we are enclosed in a safe and warm place, away from the rest of the entire world. There is no such thing as worry, insecurity, popularity. There is just space and no concept of time passing. But then the day comes when you can no longer be held in anymore. It is time to break free from the sanctuary you have called home for the last nine months. And that's when perhaps the first thought of change enters your mind. And you go for it, head first, so to speak. A bright light. It is then when you realize that there are others like you, taller and hairier, with eyes filled with salt water and teeth so big, you let out a shrieking cry. That is the first moment you feel fear. But it soon disappears as a kind woman looks down at you and with trembling arms cradles your bloody head. That is when you first feel love. Then, the first day of school arrives without warning. The smell of pencil shavings and Elmer's glue fills up your Lisa Frank backpack. You see your parents cry, which makes you cry, and you don't know why, until the door closes and you are left with 20 other kids in uniform, all unsure of what they are meant to say. You then feel a slight layer begin to grow over your sensitive skin. Was it from outside or from within? Your security is questioned then. Then, middle school, the time of acne, braces, unknown faces, and newly formed bodies, hearing the girl talk in the bathrooms echo along the hallways, always wanting to fit in with the popular kids, the ones who have it all together, but... Months pass and the classmates laugh at the kid who might be different. Layer upon layer of self-doubt spills out onto the freshly washed floor. And then, you are in it. Seventeen years old in a new body, covered in privacy, protected but limited due to the hundreds of voices questioning your vision time and time again, throwing you into the playpen of why, who are you, what value. You go back to 17 years ago. What drove you before? How were you able to do it? This armor of fear, of insecurity, has formed so thickly over time, you would think it was an exoskeleton from a past crime. Layers you did not feel when you felt love as a newborn, before your dreams were torn by stranger scorn. Layers! They're not a part of you. You are so much better than that.